Hello, it's Daisy Dementia, and I appreciate you clicking on this video. Today is week 79 of my freeform lock journey. A year and six months. Yee! I, I, it's so nice to think I have not had to do the ritual of brushing my hair in a year and six months. I used to have hair all the way down to my hips, and it would take me 45 minutes two times a day to brush it. I was putting in so much effort into not letting my hair not. I had like thick European wavy curly hair. Certain spots of my hair was wavy, other spots were curly like this section right here. Oh, got some congoing going on. Um, this section right here on either side of my head, it would do these banana curls and it's doing one of these numbers here to like lock up and same thing on this side. It's like really shrinking. There's a lot of shrinkage going on. I noticed compared to my last photo, every photo I've been taking of my hair, it's been like shrinking up now and really, really coming together. Usually, I wanted to post this video on Friday, however, we had an issue with our car, which is parked right out there. We had to tow it, so that was fun. Um, it's the car my fiancé uses for work, and it just kind of like gave up at a certain point. Oil leak and coolant issues. And a lot of uh, loops, a lot of wispy ends here. Which in my pre-recording video, I couldn't say wispy for the, for the life of me at all. See? But I still have these whipsy, whipsy, um, whipsy, <laughs> I can't say the word, wispy, <laughs> jeez. Um, still some loose hair, uh, just mostly right here on either side of my head, which in my, one of my last videos, I can't remember if it was a week or two weeks ago, I, um, got a headband that I'm using for my skincare makeup stuff and, um, to help, like, prevent product from really touching that spot. It's been a really fun journey. I cannot complain. Like, uh, people say the pros and cons of dreads, but I don't see any cons here. I mean, it took me, like, an hour and a half every day to brush my hair and do the shampooing and conditioning ritual, all the hair products, like, if I... I never straightened my hair. I barely ever blow dried it. Never. Because it was such a waste of time and so damaging and not natural. And freeforms are such a natural thing. I don't even think about it. I separate very minimally just to make sure like an entire section of hair won't clump together like this. Otherwise, it's a freeing thing. It really is. People have described it as spiritual and I can understand that too. Um... It's enjoyable. Um, some people get sensitive about the attention that it can bring. I definitely, I definitely get, get some looks. Some seem amused. Some seem like I need to, um, <laughs> like go to church or something. Like I do get some looks. And I, I mean, growing up goth, I, that's never bugged me. Like really, being different's never bugged me. And uh, living in South Dakota. I don't see locks too often. I think I've seen maybe two other Caucasians with locks. That's about it. And I've been here, we moved here uh, right before COVID in uh, February 2020. I do have some Congos going on because I got a lot of little ones. Like this one here. These two are becoming buddies. I'm surprised by how much it's everything's been shrinking lately. Um, I'll make a video update about some of the different products that I have been using. I wouldn't say products because it's really not products, um, but other things that have helped. I want to make a new video about my process with Dr. Bronner's because I still do that. It's just a little different now that like my locks are starting to mature. I feel like I'm beginning the mature maturation process. I think I said that word right. Um, because it's different now that things have been changing. 
something about fall, you know, everything goes dormant. I'm not sure what's happening here. This is like a weird Congo. It's like starting at the end instead of at the top. Just need some investigation. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> um, every day is different. <laughs> I'm not sure whether to separate this or not. The ones on the bottom where I usually would get banana curls like I described here, but they have these flat spots at the bottom where it normally would curl. And I noticed that my son, my two-year-old, he's starting to get that too. And um, his hair has been locking quite a bit, mostly in the back where it was also the same place mine started, I think because of sleeping, that friction. Um, but then he's also getting some in the front now. And we're just letting his hair go. We used to try and brush it and prevent it from happening. But it's like, I'm sorry, but he has my hair. He's doomed. He's just doomed. He has my color, the texture, everything. But the rest of him is dad, so that's fine. A lot of people I know will comment about dandruff. What happens with dandruff? What do you do about dandruff? And um, there is one product that you honestly can find at... Walmart. Not, not only Neutrogena anti-residue formula, if you can get your hands on a bottle of that, do it. By all means, just do it. Um, that is, stuff is amazing. I've used it for all three of my journeys within Freeform. Well, my first wasn't Freeform. My first journey was actually backcombing using beeswax. And I had them for three years and brushed them out. I have no photos of that time period. I was BC before kids. Children. C. Children. Not K. I got this. My fiance will use this as a shampoo, and I actually, every now and again, will use it on my hair. There was a different one that had peppermint that I actually liked more. This does have a few ingredients that I'm not a big fan of in the inactives, but the salicylic acid really helps the scalp, so that way it can get really clean. And if I do have a time period where I need to shampoo and I have a lot of dandruff, I'll actually use a good portion, a good handful of this and really just do my entire head. And I do like it. It's cheaper. Um, and if it's like I actually ran out of my homemade shampoo, so I actually use this and my hair feels so clean. Like I used this two days ago and my hair is just phenomenal. Another product I use on occasion is also this. I might use this once a month. I got this as a sample in Ipsy, and I was kind of hesitant at first, but um, I've used it a couple times, and I think this will last me like another freaking six months. It's nice that my entire hair has basically locked up. So at this point, it's just the patience game moving forward until my hair is completely locked and matured. When they're wet, they're much heavier now. Thank you for watching this video and I will see you next month on YouTube or you can find me weekly at Daisy Dementia on Instagram and at Not Nation on Reddit. Enjoy the rest of your day. Bye.